Here we are once again in Way of the Hunter. Hope everybody's hunting going well while we're waiting some or for some more news on the next DLC 2 of Africa. Uh, so for this hunt, I'm just going to sort of resume uh, probably a couple of videos ago where I was doing some age, uh, age herd management. Uh, right at the end of one of the year, so I'm going to be going into the next year, so there's a few animals that I want to check on, make sure they repopulated correctly. And I'm also going to do a few, uh, a bit of a chit chat on a few things, and uh, talk about uh, a little bit of the, the collar video I uh, did recently. Uh, but first, before uh, we go on to the next year and check on all that, I'm just going to kind of close out this year. Uh, end of this day. It's uh, moving on. What time is it now? 1.20. So there's definitely some daylight hunting left. And what I'm thinking of doing on this hunt is I have a couple mule deer herds. This uh, this one here and I think this one here, which I removed all the bucks on. So they're going to spawn in uh, tomorrow. And I sort of want the, uh, the fitness of them to be as high as possible. So I was thinking I would target mule deer herds down here. I'm going to go after this guy here. See if I can knock out a couple low fit mule deer before the day ends so that they can get a little bit of a boost uh, when they spawn in tomorrow. So that is what we're going to be doing on the hunt. Uh, well, we just sort of discuss what we what we see and a little bit about the lures. Uh, what's special about this hunt, furthermore, is I'm just going to bring the 223, one of my favorite rifles in the game, one of the most challenging rifles to use. And we're going to be trying to do some accurate shots uh, with this little guy here. What we need to do is I mark the two zones of the first mule deer herd I'm going after. And we're going to fast travel down here. Pick up the jeep uh, on the way over. So we'll just zoom over there now. Hopefully they're still at the drink zone and not moved out. Uh, so what is their time on that? They're usually about 11 to 2. I said it was 1.30, right? Yeah, so they're going to be moving out here really soon. I don't know which one the often zone is, but hunting down Cottonwood Creek is usually pretty pretty easy to see these guys. So we're just going to zip over there, and we're only about a half kilometer out of each group here. We're going to just zip over there and see what we can see. The Steyr Scout 223 here is definitely an underpowered rifle for what most people be using for Tier 5 animals. Uh, you, can you can even use it for tier 6. I use it to sort of hone the marksmanship skills. Uh, this really requires you to place your shots and place your shots well. So I find it really fun, really satisfying to do, take down large animals with it with a single shot. Uh, but if you're still learning shot placement, I, I recommend to learn shot placement with a tier 6 rifle. Because it's really hard to learn how you're messing up the shots if you if you never get the harvest screen to sort of analyze your mistakes. So you, you sort of have to practice shot placements with the big rifles. So just so you can see lots of harvest screens, figure out what you're doing, and then sort of work your way down. Uh, the 223 here doesn't have very much cavity damage at all, but it has excellent penetration. A lot of its damage is all in the penetration of it, and it can go in pretty far, so it's a nice little precision rifle. Uh, coming up to the first zone here. I didn't hear any deer coming in. I'm resuming from a previous hunt where I was watching uh, the mule deer come in here down the game trail. So maybe they've all scattered around and I might have to go back and have a little nap. Get them. Oh, no, there they are there. Alright, let's see if we can figure out some low fit. Now that actually brings me to the lures here. So I'm not going to go too much into a follow-up of the lure video. I might actually have to do a couple follow-ups on it. Because uh, there's lots of opinions on how these collars work and, and the lures work and everything like that. Uh, but right now I'm just going to go under the assumption just because it seems to be what's happening and I don't know if it's supposed to be happening or not. I think if it's working as intended. Uh, but if you take this grunt collar here, you'll see it's got the attract female, which you can sort of ignore, and you got the the young buck grunt, low fitness, and then the trophy one. But see how one says young, and the other one says trophy? That, uh, it seems like that means something, 
Uh, like it's got an age component to it. I'm going to be playing around with these just to fully see. But uh, this this grunt collar, uh, the low fit works as you would expect, but it still seems to be the high fit only calls in matures. And so I'm just kind of going to assume that's the case. Not like it really matters a whole lot to the to how I hunt. Uh, but if we if we take the bag of sticks for example, because I brought all these deer ones, now this one just says attracts low fit and high fit. Like it doesn't have anything about young or trophy or anything to it. And this one definitely does call in young and adult high fit deer, and the low one works just the same. And then I also brought along the bleat call just because I don't actually know why we would use this. <laughs> But uh, I figured I, maybe I would play around with the call a little bit. And let me know what you think on that one. Um, if there's any more info to be had on it. Uh, the elk caller I also couldn't get young or adult matures to come in. But it doesn't say trophy or anything about the age I don't think on it. So I'm still kind of puzzled about the whole thing. It's not, a, it's not like a pressing matter that I have to sort out. So there we go. There's a call right there we can do. So we can start right off with a nice early shot here. We got 200 meters. That's a nice distance for the 223. He's right broadside too. Not much wind. I love it when you get one of these days with a super low wind. We are going to zero to the 200. Whoop. And we're crouched. Don't have to worry about much wind. We're going to go for the heart shot. Just sniper him right here. See if I can pull it off. Nope. I'm hesitating too much. Got to visualize the heart. I don't know. The, I had a frame hiccup right before I hit that, so I didn't get him. Uh, he's going down, though. Okay, we'll mark him there. So that's a 2 two shot, uh, two two three shot that is going to take him down in one hit. I think he's right here. If you're playing around with his rifle shooting tier fives, you're going to have to get used to them taking a while to, to go down. It was not a hard shot. Uh, typically, my guess is I was too high, but I had a little frame stutter for some reason right when I took the shot. So I'm not too sure. Usually when I aim for the heart, I'm always aiming too high on, on it. I'm too I'm too hesitant to shoot too low. Because I don't want to like go too low and then scoot underneath the heart and the lung. It's one of the things I've been working on with the heart shots. Ah, here he is here. Now let's see what we did there. So it's going to be, what's that, single left lung. Probably scooted above, above and to the right of the heart is my guess. I always like predicting the shot. Yeah, okay, not to the right, but above, just what I thought. I am getting a little bit of stutters there, and I'm wondering if uh, i got too much stuff going on in the background of my computer right now. But we'll keep the video rolling anyways. It's being a little less smooth than I'm used to. A little bit of a frame thing there. Anyways, there's the shot. Just what I thought. I aim too high. That's normal for me. Pretty much right down the middle of the lung, though. If I was aiming for the lung, that would have been, been a good one. Uh, so half percent or half of its uh, penetration, half of its cavity damage. But you'll see on the 223, you get a very narrow cone. It doesn't spread out that cavity damage very much. So all of its energy uh, pretty much goes right down that thin little tube there. So it's a really nice sort of uh, think of it as a, just like a well, it's kind of like a an arrow or a bolt, right? But uh, look how far it goes, and it almost came out the other side. So you get some good penetration with the 223. It can be a real fun rifle to use. Let's check them out there. So 30%'s knocked out. Perfect. Let's see if we can take down a few more uh, low fit mule deer just to give these new spawns next year a bit of a bonus. All right, we've had a one hour power nap. The mule deer would have now entered their sleep time. So I'm gonna go down here and I don't actually need these markers here because they're not going to be there anymore. I don't know which one of these rest zones is their often zone, but uh, I am familiar with this mule deer group. Uh, usually they're in this one, I believe, but this tower is a good spot. So what I'm going to try to do is come in from the west, see if I can get up to that tower or not. I think that would be a nice basic plan here. It's going to take a little while to drive there. Is there an actual road that comes down? Oh yeah, I'm just going to follow this little trail here. Probably park down here and walk across, maybe. Hmm. So I, uh... <laughs> yeah. 
I kind of decided not to just park on the road. And I'm like, I'll just drive over here. I guess this was too deep. Uh, so what happens when when River tries to get out here? Does he just go unconscious? Because my my Jeep no longer works here. Oh, oh, yep, there he goes. <laughs> Darn it! I had to stop the UTV on the way back here because I I did spot them up on the zone up here. It's kind of laying up on that little hill, uh, so I can't get very good visual on any of them. I mean, there's a couple bucks there. They're looking pretty small. So, we have to... I'm not really going to go to the tower, I don't think. I don't think the tower has a good visual on on that location. It's on sort of the other side of these trees. And there's tr the trees in between them. So, we're going to do a bit of a, a sneak move here. The wind is good. The wind is picked up, actually. And yeah, we're just going to try and get in close. If I end up alerting them, which I almost always do, they should stand up. Maybe we'll get a better visual on them when they when they go alert. 150 meters out, they should be detecting me here fairly soon. Looks like there's only five up there, two bucks and three doe. And none of them look very old, though, so this might be a good, a good uh, opportunity to try out differences in these collars. I'm just going to get through this uh, bush here. Hopefully there's some visibility when I come through. Okay. Well, that's not going to be bad for the collar situation. We're going to use the drone camera just sort of to monitor and see what's going on when I start calling out. So what should I try first here? There's the two buck. They're looking, too, they're looking small, but they're not looking old. I mean, this might be an okay to do the test on. Because what I can try to do is I can try to start with the, the high fit trophy one. Because if neither of them are are mature, they should definitely not come in. So I'm just kind of curious. We'll start with that one. Uh, just to see if the, the theory kind of holds true. Now this you have to sort of ignore. Because it's a thing with that caller. The very first call will pull in a, a doe, but the second call she'll turn around. So there they are there. They're going to ignore it. And they definitely don't look mature. No. I don't think so. We'll find out what they are anyways. I'll probably end up taking both of them. Uh, just for science to see what the fitness was after this test here. We'll do another another high fit trophy buck call. I mean, we're thinking it's, it just does matures. Let's see though. He's standing up, but he's just going to stand up to eat. It's part of his little animation. Okay, now she should turn around. I think she's going to give up on it because that's like a normal thing. I'm not too sure why that's still in the game. That's been in there for a while. So what I'll do, I have lots of time, so I'll do several calls here just to make sure that neither of these will come to the high fit call. Because then we can conclude that they are young or adult, and if they do not come to this, then it's it's following with theory. What's that, three calls? Yeah, she's just kind of stuck there now. She should turn around, though. Yeah, so they're going to come. I'm going to give it a couple more calls, but I don't think these guys are going to budge. I, th I think the theory sounds. I'm just not sure. So half a dozen or so calls have been made here with the high fit grunt call. They're just not going to budge. I'm not going to do it much more than that because it's going to get a little ridiculous. Uh, I think we're within 100 meters. Yeah, we're definitely within We're about 100 meters or so. That's a bit too early, but I think the, the drone camera is 100 meter range, I think. So you can sort of measure it out that way. Yeah, I think it's 100 meter when you get the boost on it. So they're not coming there, so this is a good chance to try out the little bag of sticks here. So let's try the high fit bag of sticks, because this one will definitely call them in if they're they're high fit. At least if the RNG doesn't get them. So let's do a little rattle here and see what they're doing. Up we go. 
Now it could be this test is just a waste of time because if they're both low fit. <laughs> Which is quite possible. Oh well. This is how science is done. I mean, I don't want to focus too much on this, uh, these lure things, but I'll, okay, I'll do it a few times on the stick rattle, and I think after both of those, we could just conclude that these guys are low fit if they're not going to not gonna come to either of these. going to do one more call on the, the high fit stick rattle. So I think we're just going to conclude that they're low fit, which of course I could probably figure it out earlier. But you got to do the got to do the testing, sort it out here. Let's give it a second longer. These days you want to do the little call before the arrow gets to the middle. They're they're having a habit of aborting the call, aborting the lure before it gets there. Yes, I'm still here. All right, it's, it's a safe bet these are both uh, low fit, but now I have to get them, uh, just to just to make sure, right? We're not going to know until we get them, so I'm going to switch back. We're going to do low fit grunt. See if they come to this one. Okay, anybody want to want to venture this way? Oh, he seemed to be interested. So the low fit one works as we're expecting. Like it will call in young, adult, mature, all of them. But uh, so much for that test then, because these are probably both low fit. But oh well. Need to get rid of them anyways. So we know this guy is definitely below 50%. Let's do another call. See if the other guy gets up. They like to come in one at a time. One call brings one in. The next call brings another one in. Seem to like to do that. This guy's gonna ignore it. So this guy is ignoring high fit grunt, low fit grunt, and high fit stick rattle. Hmm. Let's do this real quick. Let's do a low fit stick rattle. Just to see if he gets up for this one. See if it matters. And does the oh no, he's just eating. Now does low fit stick rattle like over or like replace the grunt maybe? Okay, so he's ignoring it. <clears throat> See, I switched, eh? I don't think anybody ever does this. Is he gonna abort when the when the grunt call runs out, or is the probably the stick rattle just takes over? Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna come to anything that guy over there. This guy's almost in. Let's just make sure before I take the shot, this guy's not responding. So this guy's not responding to anything. No calls at all. That turn's not a response. At least I don't think it is. Oh, I gotta be fast here. Uh, is this guy responding? Oh, come on. Go, 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 little gamer. Oh, he might be. Nope, he laid down. Never mind. He is not. Uh, where'd this guy go? How come I can't see him? Oh, is he right here? No, oh, he's right here. I, I can't see where to shoot. Alright, let's get him a little closer, I guess. Come on, little buddy. Come through the little bushes here. I was hoping they'd come through this opening. Is he still there? Yep. Maybe he's stuck at that. He won't get any closer, maybe. I need to see you, though. I can't move. Come on. Oh, here it comes. Pretty sure he must detect me. Or is he walking away now? <laughs> I think he's walking away now. <laughs> Get back here.
Oh, hey, look at this. This guy is coming. All right, they're both low fit. They did switch places, did they? Okay, well, we know they're both low fit now. He took his time coming to the call. And this guy's just, he's just had enough. He's heading out. All right. There we go. Let's get this guy then. Ooh, moving heart shot. <laughs> not sure. Is he hurt or not? Hmm. Couldn't tell if he went down, like if he did the hurt run or not. Uh, where's his blood? Two, two, three, probably. Didn't get the heart there then. No, it's gonna be small. Yeah, okay. Uh, not a biggie, because I'll be able to track him down again. So, what time is it? Four o'clock. We'll get another chance at him. If I can get back to the Jeep in time, uh, we'll do another attempt at that guy. Might have a rough second go at it here, because of course I'm coming from the south now. I went down to the camp to the south, and wind's going to the north. But if I'm far enough out, they won't smell me. Let's make sure they're there. They're not at the other zone, so I think they're at the same one. Or did they vanish and I spook them, maybe? Am I just being blind? Are they gone, gone? Oh, no. Is that one there? Okay, they are at the same zone. Alright, the trouble is, though, the wind. However, the lure should work through the wind. Alright, if I stay about 150 out, I don't think the scent's going to be traveling that far. So let's get the grunt call out. And we'll start doing a low fit call. Let's see if he gets up. I'm also checking to see if they smell me or not. No, they don't. If I remember right, I think the farthest I've had the scent travel is about 120 meters. I'm not too sure exactly on the distance on it. Alright, so we'll get another chance at this guy. I don't actually see... Oh no, there's the other buck back in the shade. Okay, really? You're going to diddle around? Come on, straight in. I could have messed the shot up, the first shot up as well, because he was in so close. The You can only zero to 50 meters, and the bullet's still kind of rising before it gets to him, so... Actually, I don't know what that what it did in that first shot at all. I don't even have a guess if it hit low or not. All right, okay, so he's a one-star adult, low fit. He's 100 meters there. Let's just do the shot from here. We'll, we'll attempt another hard shot. Except I'm not. Ooh, I'm not sure. Two, two, three. Can it? Not sure it can breach that far. Eek. Oh, he's gonna turn. Oh, turn around again. But no, he's gonna. Uh, it's gonna lose the call. Quick, get it, get the call up. Right, I gotta turn him around again. I might actually do that. Uh, bring him in, let the call expire, and shoot him as he turns. Looks like they did catch wind of me. The does are heading out, and I got. One buck coming into the call. Where'd the other one go then? Or is that him? No, that's him there. Okay, so I only got one to come back in. I guess they got wind of me. Because they're heading out. Okay, can I sneak it in here? Oh, not when you're warping up on a, on a rock. Uh, I can probably quarter in. See if we can knock out the lung. I won't do the heart here. Oh, no, no, he's... uh. Great. I don't want him that close. I want to be able to zero to him. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong caller. Okay, we're going to go to 50 meters. I don't know if the 223 can actually go right into that heart. Maybe. Give another go, maybe. There, he's down. That's a heart shot. Good. 
All right, one more to go. If I get the other low fit guy, I can uh, include this guy in my other mule deer herds that I've done the age reset on. So then I'll know when these two guys, uh, the age of them as well. They'll be the same age as the rest of them. So we'll probably do that. Let's pick him up and see. So, yeah, the other guy I hit, not this guy. Oh, it was enough for the left lung, too. I should believe more in my uh, in my 2 2 three, I guess. I definitely can do the heart. Okay, cool. All right, I don't know how I missed that first one. I mean, the heart's fairly big, and I thought I hit around here. Huh, well, mm hmm. Maybe I was low and it didn't reach? Don't know. Uh, 32%. Good thing he's gone. So basically the same thing. Those guys would have scooted away. Oh, I'm not too sure how to line them up though. Because when do they start eating? Seven? It's going to get real dark. Real dark here. Yeah, seven o'clock. I'm going to have to check where their feed zones are. Here's the plan. Alright, so I'm going to sleep one hour. Uh, so it'll go 6.40 or so. They will spawn on their resting zones and start heading uh, towards their feed zones. While they're heading towards the feed zones, I'll be sprinting as fast as I can down to here and then try to get to this tower. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat them, though. Maybe. Because they have a feed zone right outside the tower here and the other one's up here. Uh, but that is going to be the plan. So I'm going to leave the UTV because it'll take me too long. I have to... I have to make sure I get enough time here before 7 o'clock to uh, do this. So I'll put this away. And then I should have brought a bigger gun for this part because I can't really mess up again. Uh, so yeah, so 640. Okay, so there would have been brought back to the rest zones. Now i got to run for a kilometer. Uh, go, river, go. Okay, here comes the approach. It is... Six in-game minutes for the deer have to get there. And that might be them right here. Looks like... Not sure if they're already at the zone or just thinking about going there. I spooked these elk earlier too. Oh! And some white tail. Two-star adult. Nice. Lots of animals out to play right now. Yeah, I spooked these elk. That guy looks fairly big back there. Oh well. Stay focused. The target is this one guy here. So they're out there. Maybe they already are at their zone. Which isn't really surprising since their zones are right next to each other. They seem to be there. And there's the guy there. So I'm missing... I'm missing one of the does. Not a big deal though. These guys are off to their rest zone, or their feed zone. And these guys up here are all confused. I don't know where the one doe went. Just want to make sure this is the right herd. So you'll get across the water here. Without going unconscious. It's too deep, isn't it? The river is foiled by the river. Oh! I didn't know a bear came out here. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, you should be able to cross up where these rocks are poking up here. Okay, that's them calling. Or that's the whitetail group calling. These guys should be far enough away. I can still kind of jog in a bit here. I'll crouch when I get across. Right about here we'll do the crouch thing. Okay, I just checked out with, with the camera drone. I have multiple herds up here. So I don't want to get them confused. There's a whitetail one over there. Okay, I wonder if I can get to this tower or not. So here's the mule deer. Apparently there's whitetail there since they're grunting at me. So that's the herd I want there. And then there's another one off to the right. I wonder if I can get to this tower. Alright, I'll give it a try. 
Okay, it looks like I'm gonna make it here. Good. Hopefully climbing the ladder doesn't spook them. Be quiet, River. Climb slowly. Okay, I don't think they noticed. So yeah, I'm not missing a doe because it's only three. Here's the guy here. Oh, he's just a young one. Okay, he's broadside. We'll do this with the two, two, three here. Switch out. We'll zero up to 100 and we'll just kind of drop it in there. We'll attempt another heart shot. It's going to drop a little bit. Heart's going to be right through here. Yep. There we go. Good. It's like the, the herds are kind of small out this way. Oh, there's only... Oh, he looks old. Two star, I've seen him. Two star, wait. The guy looks pretty big in the... This elk herd doesn't look too, too bad. I don't have to... No, no, they're not that big. They don't have any... Uh... I don't have any uh, call on me or anything like that. Uh, well, we can have some fun while we're here. Why not? He's broadside, 300. Let's just uh, let's just two, two, three him in the heart. You know, something, something. Oh, well, and a guy stepped in front of him. <laughs> You're up to 300. And uh, you get out of the way, there, buddy. We're gonna get your butt out of the way. We're gonna take this guy down. I can take you out, I guess. Let me take you out instead. Uh, let me see. Oh, you're gonna get another guy walking in front of him. Come on there, budge out of the way. Okay, here's a guy. Probably a big mistake. But that's what I do. He's looking pretty small. Okay, visualizing heart. <laughs> Can't tell. Probably didn't work. Well, only one way to find out. We're going to go check the blood. Got to have landed around the herd anyways. All right. He's not our target anyways. Let's go get those uh, mule deer. Okay, here he is. Just a young guy. We'll reset that herd. There's the first shot. Too low. That's what I was wondering. It would have made it. But it was too low. Oh, and a bit off. Actually, you know what? I never realized the heart was offset a bit to the to the side. That's actually good to know. Aim a little bit to the to the side. Well, it's pretty much center. It looks like it's a bit a bit more to the side there. Uh, but that's what I was wondering, since he's much closer than 50 meters, the bullet was still rising up to that point. Well, second shot. We went for the heart again, and we got it that time. Busted right through. 223 had no trouble. You know, tier 3 rifle. Pretty near going through the deer there. So that works. Let's see, 47%. Alright. Technically a low fit. We don't need him around. And let's go uh, just see what this blood did. I don't think it... I don't think it did much. So he should have been hit around here. I seen him jump. And yeah, it didn't work. Oh well. Maybe someday I'll find out uh, how that shot did. Good morning, River. Now it's the start of a new year. All of our animals would have grown older. New animals should have appeared. So now, as long as my, my time calendar thingy is working right, there's going to be a few herds I want to check on. Make sure they repopulated correctly here. The first one's this mule deer herd that everybody loves right outside the the lodge. It is their feed time, seven in the morning. They they're usually feeding right around these trees here. Oh, and our friendly Yay, okay. I actually won't really double check on this guy. But see how that's a male fox call? Uh it's this guy right here. And he's over at this feed zone. Right? Because that's, uh, I won't, I won't bother really checking on him. Yeah, he's feeding there. So that is where he is right here. And 
yeah, he's this fox here. I reset this guy. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be a brand new male fox. So I'm not... Anyways, he wasn't there yesterday. He's there now, so he's going to be a one-year-old red fox. So that's one of them. Uh, where are the deer that hang out here, though? Oh, maybe they're at their rare uh, feeding zone, are they? That's quite possible. I have seen them at their rare zone before. This is an iconic herd because everybody, this is like one of the first, first impressive groups of animals they see. They'll come down the lodge and they'll, they'll look over here and they're in the, the river or they're here laying down eating or they're over, I guess you can't really see them, but they rest over here. Okay, so these guys uh, are not here. The other spot is um, that you see them when you start the game. If I fly back here for a second, when you look over the banister, you'll see them right down here. There they are, yep. So that's them there. Okay, so I just need to observe these guys and see. So half kilometer, half kilometer away. So this herd that you see at the start of the game is the same herd that you'll see out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is do the old teleport around. And, yeah, it's going to try and get uh, Hunter Sense on them. There should be five new bucks if they all spawn at the same time. Uh, no, not five. should be four. Four, I think. Five doe, four buck, I believe. All right, I'm going to get a little closer. I just counted them with the drone cam. There is indeed nine animals there. So there was five doe of various ages. And it's going to be four more. Four more animals. I couldn't tell if they're all buck, though. Because they don't have to come back as the same uh, sex that they were. They can come back as, uh, as the opposite. Oh, they're over here. So I've got to swing around this way a bit. I just want to make sure they're all reading as one star youngs, which they obviously are going to be. But it's just a double check for me. Can I, uh, yep, one star young. So that's a young there. And then this guy back here. I can't tell if I'm picking him up or not. No, well, it's not a big deal. I'm fairly certain this is all working as intended. Yep, yeah. okay, so there are two, two of them are young. And there's another one there. Good, so these guys are all one year old. And I'll be back to see them when, uh, when they're the last year. Which, I, how, how old do they go for? 16 or something like that? Uh, 12? I don't know. I don't remember. Mule deer goes to 12. Okay, that's not too bad. I should actually be practicing with whitetail first since they grow up so fast. Okay, so that's good. Uh, what else do I need to check, check on? Actually, I don't really need to check on anything else. I only reset a couple fox groups. Uh, three mule deer herd and that solo elk over here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume... That's okay, like all working as intended. But what I want to try here eh, for a second here is I'm going to try some low fit calls. Now, even if a low fit comes in, I'm not going to shoot it. I uh, I want these guys to all grow up here. But I am wondering a bit more about these calls. And I did nudge the the bell curve there a little bit. Right before these guys spawned in there with that with those uh, harvests. So that's the, the little glitch where the doe comes in first. And she's stuck. Okay. We're gonna do another call. Wouldn't this be awesome if none of them come to the low fit? That'd be cool. So far, nothing. 
That'll be very promising. Okay, I'm going to keep calling here for a minute. Yeah, this is promising. I've been calling that low fit. Did I, anybody coming in? How many are out here? Four. Yeah, they're all still here. Oh, I like this. That's a good spawn then. That could be fun to harvest there at harvest time. Growing them like a like a weed field. But uh still still okay because uh, you're gonna be getting them in the last year of their life. So they're they're gonna fall over anyways. So even these little virtual pixels, they get a full a full dear happy life. Alright, they don't seem to be coming there. So now, next thing. Let's try the high fit call. But this this shouldn't bring in anybody if that theory is the the theory to go by. Since you guys are all young, none of them came to low fit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wail away at this high fit call for a little bit. Okay, did I get one coming or not? I wailed a lot on it. I want to say one of them's coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, the other one's back here. Okay, so that didn't work either. Uh, hmm. Let's try the big old sticks here next. Let me see here. I'm not even going to bother letting that run down. Let's go high fit. This one should bring them in. Because this one shouldn't care about, uh, about the age. Oh! This guy looks like he's he's caught on. Yep. There, there might be something with that. I mean, this guy came in first rattle of high fit, which is good here. Uh, can I get a second one? But uh, they did not move at all that uh, grunt call. Now this guy's kind of journeying. Is he coming in or just deciding? Are they actually coming in? Or did they just kind of walk out this way? Oh, maybe I got too excited. Oh, do you smell me or something? Oh, he's alerted. Oh, I'm standing. <laughs> Crouch down. <laughs> Oops, see Daisy. All right, so where'd he go? He's just off on a journey. Well, how come these guys aren't alerted? Well, that's weird. Oh, I bet you that's the that that's that crossbow change they made. He's a lured animal, so when he went alerted, these guys weren't bothered. I wonder if that's what we're seeing there, because none of these guys are even uh, concerned. Uh, where did he go? Okay, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna let the lure run out and let him run back there. That was my mistake for uh, being standing up there. Yeah, this is a little really weird now. This guy is now separated from his herd, and the call has ran out for a while. He's kind of over here now. Whoop! Where are you, buddy? Oh, now I've lost him. Hey, he's right here. That's weird. He should he should have uh, trotted back. Hey. What are you doing? Okay, now I don't actually know what's going on. Okay, you're just walking in like normal. Okay. So these guys are just doing their own thing. This guy's decided to just hang out over here. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's all wore off. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to see if I can get any more other than just this guy. All right, now they're all kind of ignoring the rattle. Like even the guy that's coming into it. I don't know. You got me. You got me beat on these lure things. It's all inconsistent. 
Like these guys didn't do anything to the low fit, not doing anything to the high fit, and they're different lures. Oh. You got me. Is this guy still over here? No, oh, he's in the tree now. He's kind of broken. You know what we should do now? We should try the uh, bleed call just to see if it's got like superpowers to like bring everybody in. Let's see what it does. It is bringing a doe in, which would make sense. Okay, let me see, see if the whole herd responds to this or not. Okay, a bunch of calls with the bleat. And I've got this guy resuming. Uh, I don't know if he's coming or not. He was stepping forward. We've got you, you, <laughs> and you're coming in. You're, what? How come they're charging? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, <laughs> so, so we found out what the bleat calls for. <laughs> they're, all, they're all like charging me. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys, let's just let the the bleat call run out. <laughs> so they they all kind of like ran at me and then stopped. What is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. Weird. <laughs> and this one's still back here doing nothing. Oh, you're, oh you got the, the crooked diagonal slant going on here. Alright, I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, did you guys all go alert? Oh, probably because the lure ran out? Okay. I'm going to have to stop playing around with these guys and end the video sometime. <laughs> but what? Just go, what's going on? Okay, you're just sleeping right here. Weird. Okay, I wonder if I can... <laughs> I wonder, wonder if I can get them all coming at me again. So, they're still coming towards me. I'm not sure what to do here. I can't really practice my lures if they're going to be right here. Alright, what we're going to do, this might get a little annoying on the video, but my theory is that every time you call, it affects one animal, and then it decides to come in or not. Uh, but it doesn't matter if, you, if you're calling, like, you can call one after the other like this. They don't seem to care if, if you just kind of keep clicking away here. I just want to see. I know it's going to be annoying to listen to, but I want to see. Do they come to this when I'm like hammering away at it? Right? <laughs> Alright, just a second. I won't, I won't bug the audio too much here. Okay, so I called a bunch more. Definitely some of them are coming through. Like, here's one. She's all kind of broken in Atlanta too now. This guy's ignoring it. I think they're all confused now because they're getting close to me. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's just weird. Okay, now they got hunting pressure on them. All right, so that was kind of weird. Oh well. Uh, let's get uh, let's get two two three out. We're gonna leave you alone, buddy. You're fine. Don't need to worry about you. Uh, what do we have here? We can just shoot like one of these old. Oh, she's all slanted and broken. Probably take her out, maybe. I know, we'll do a closer one. Heart shot. Right. Oh, she turned right at the last second. Oh, she's fine. Darn. Oh, well. Let's just make sure. Here's the hit. Actually, it looks kind of big. Oh, I did get her. She was trotting away half of you. Alright, let's go, uh... 
What did she do? She trotted this way. And then... Off here. Alright, well, let's go pick her up. Yep, even at close range shot. When you're using the 223, you gotta be ready for some tracking. She ran a ways. Now ah, here she is. I guess that was just a single lung. Can I pick her up? Or no? No? Oh, there we go. Uh, yep. 223 still worked. Yeah, she turned right, right when I was pulling the trigger. So it missed the heart. Ah, see? I was, I was lined up okay, though. She <laughs> just kind of swung around. The heart was there, and then she leaned <laughs> over. Uh, darn. Oh, well. There we go. Almost max weight. Female. So she was in the last year of her life or so. Close to it, anyways. Well, that was a fun time, anyways. So end of the new year. I'm going to have to plan out my future hunts here. We're going to let that herd grow up. I got a few others to let grow up. And then... Uh, yeah, I've got to figure out what else to hunt. I want to do a hunt where I am sitting on the game trail. That kind of sounds kind of fun if you can figure out what game trail they're going to walk down. Uh, that sounds like a good strategy for the upcoming archery. So maybe we'll bring the crossbow for that. That's one thing I want to do. Uh, that sounded like that solo elk. Oh, he's over there. So he should be... I'm going to trot over him real quick here because he should be his first year as well. Yep, there he is. So, it is running exactly like I was hoping. Uh, all the bulls and bucks that I took down have now come back. And they didn't stagger either. Uh, I took out four of those uh, mule bucks and this guy and that fox. They all came back. There he is. Alerted. That's fine. You can be alerted. Alright, so that was fun. Not sure we learned anything or not, but it's still fun to fiddle around with everything. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and happy hunting, everybody. See you next time. Take care.